pronius longus tendon. The pronius longus muscle originates from the fibular head, which is right here, and the superior two-thirds of the lateral fibula. The pronius longus muscle courses inferiorly along the fibula. There's a muscle belly and it ends in a long tendon that runs posterior to the lateral malleolus and crosses obliquely on the plantar surface of the foot. Can you please stand? So the tendon of the pronius longus crosses obliquely and it inserts on the medial cuneiform bones in the base of the first metatarsal. Can you please sit? To palpate the pronius longus tendon, I will ask the patient to evert her foot. Can you move your foot out like this? Good. As she everts her foot, the pronius longus and brevis tendons above the lateral malleolus are protruding outwards, as you can see here. But it's difficult to distinguish between the tendon of the pronius brevis and the pronius longus when palpating superior to the lateral malleolus. When palpating inferior to the lateral malleolus, we can distinguish between the pronius longus and brevis tendons. The pronius longus tendon, again, crosses obliquely on the plantar surface, so it runs more inferiorly than does the pronius brevis tendon, which we'll get into in a moment, which runs to the base of the fifth metatarsal. So this one is going more inferiorly. So if you palpate right here, you'll feel two tendons. The pronius longus tendon is the more inferior tendon. Peronius brevis tendon. The pronius brevis muscle originates from the distal two-thirds of the lateral fibula. The tendon runs again posterior to the lateral malleolus and this time it inserts on the base of the fifth metatarsal, which is right here. So it wraps around and then down to the fifth metatarsal. To palpate the peroneus brevis, I will ask the patient to evert her foot. Can you move your foot like this? Good. As she everts her foot, both the peroneus longus and brevis tendons again above the lateral malleolus are protruding outwards but it's difficult to distinguish between the longus and brevis tendons above the lateral malleolus, but uh, inferior to lateral malleolus, we can distinguish between the two tendons. The pronius brevis tendon courses superiorly or above the pronius longus tendon because it's inserting on the base of the fifth metatarsal right here. So it courses around the lateral malleolus and inserts on the base of the fifth metatarsal. Peroneus longus muscle belly. The peroneus longus muscle originates from fibular head, which is here, and the superior two-thirds of the lateral fibula. The muscle courses inferiorly along the fibula. There's a muscle belly, and it ends in a long tendon that runs posterior to the lateral malleolus and crosses obliquely on the plantar surface of the foot to ultimately insert on the medial cuneiform bones and the base of the first metatarsal. To palpate the peroneus longus muscle belly, you can palpate distally to the fibular head. So here's the fibular head. I'm going a little bit distal. I'm right on the peroneus longus muscle belly. I'm going to ask the patient to evert her foot. Can you move your foot like this? And I can feel the muscle protruding into my thumb. That's the peroneus longus muscle belly. Tibialis anterior muscle belly. The tibialis anterior originates from the lateral condyle of the tibia. Can you bend this knee? Okay, I've got it. The lateral condyle of the tibia. 
and the superior half of the lateral surface of the tibia. So the superior half, the lateral surface, and the interosseous membrane. The tibialis anterior inserts into the medial cuneiform and base of the first metatarsal. Can you raise your toes to the ceiling? So this is the medial cuneiform and the base of the first metatarsal. To palpate the tibialis anterior muscle belly, you can palpate again the superior half of the lateral surface, superior half, lateral surface, and you can ask the patient to dorsiflex and evert her foot. Can you bring your toes to the ceiling and move this way a little bit? Good, so I'm really feeling the tibialis anterior muscle belly protruding into my thumb. Tibialis posterior muscle belly. The tibialis posterior originates from the posterior tibia, inferior to the soleal line, the posterior fibula, and the posterior interosseous membrane. The tendon courses behind the medial malleolus, so behind the medial malleolus, and inserts onto the navicular bone, the cuboid, and the cuneiform bones, and the bases of of metatarsals two through four. Can you bend this knee? So it ultimately inserts on the on the bases of metatarsals um, two, three, and four. So here, here, and here. To palpate the tibialis posterior muscle belly, you can palpate the area of the posterior tibia and make sure that you are inferior to the soleal line. So the soleal line spans roughly the proximal third of the tibia. So you can um, focus on the, the two-thirds of the distal tibia. So in this area would be the best area to palpate. And also we need to keep in mind that the, the tibialis posterior muscle is a deep muscle. It's deep to the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscles. So I'm palpating, trying to get deep, so I'm pressing a little bit hard, and um, I'm going to ask the patient to plantar flex and invert the foot. So can you bend this knee a little bit? So just for the sake of uh, recording, I'm going to palpate here uh, with her leg sort of floating. Can you bring your toes out like this? and can you also invert your foot like this. Good. So I'm feeling the, the tibialis posterior muscle protrude into my thumb as she plantar flexes and inverts her foot.